called it? Invent music like David? Oh, yeah. I can get that one. Revelation? Bro, I was gonna get Revelation. Revelation. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That one, and, uh, yeah, Amos is good too when they invent instruments like David. You know, David played the guitar, the harp. You know, the guitar is one of the most ancient of all instruments. It goes, they, they got they got archaeological proof of guitar existing over uh, four or five thousand years ago. Ooh. I'm talking about ancient, ancient world. Metal strings. <laughs> well, they used to use guts of animals for the strings. Twisting them up. They say the very first gu uh, guitar was like made out of a turtle shell, and they'd use that for the body. It'd be like a harp, and they use animal guts right. for the string. Twisted, twisted. But well, they use animal guts for thousands of years, and they only recently started using steel strings. That's a new thing. Yeah, okay. I feel all about that. I was reading that too, how they would twist them tight. Yeah, tighter, yeah. Tighter. That's crazy. Who came up with that shit? Animal no guts? hands. And actually, when you look in the. Oh, I ain't gonna go. I was about to go deep, but I'm not gonna go deep. <laughs> I'm about to just stick to the basics. Hold on. Water. We can say some crazy shit out here, cause when you get this knowledge, the knowledge is so deep it could bug you out. You know what I mean? Cause if you try to, you're going with it though. You're not going yeah. with abstracting off the body and going off. Yeah. Not going. I don't mean going off. I know what you're saying. Going in the crazy land. Yeah, yeah. With Holla, yeah, right. Because yeah, it's right. some. The Most High is crazy. It's most. The, Hugged out. You know. He, he created this fucking earth. So explain this. Explain his. You explain what kind of mind he got to create this the shit. different type of spiders. Yeah. The different types of ants. Caterpillars. Types of birds. Caterpillars. People. Caterpillars <laughs> turn into different butterflies. Types of people, fucking kangaroo. Different types of music instruments. Yeah, instruments. You know. Or music orange itself. or apple. The, the music itself. Yep. The spirit. We really we ain't cracked. The, uh, the, uh, the creativity of music until we get to the time tomorrow. Oh, yeah. until we get to the, the, the Bible said we're going to sing the song of Moses. Mm -hmm. When we get beamed up on the ship, we're going to be singing as America's burning. We're looking down. Yeah, we're going to be, we're going to celebrate. We, we be sipping that wine. We're going to go haze each other. We're going to be sip, singing the song of Moses. That's right. And either the Lord going to put it in your spirit, you're going to know the song of Moses. Mm -hmm. make and, the vocals. And it ain't gonna be in English. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck is this? Some werewolves yeah, coming. Sounds like some superhero shit when it's coming. It a, a lot. Sounds like a superhero shit. He Hebrew rhymes real good. Yep, yep, yep. Lucky I got a wooden like stake. Man speaks something like that when he spoke it through it. It's, it sounds oh, real. What's that? Some pussy. It's a werewolf. We call these women werewolves all the time. I am a cat, sister. Oh, a cat? Oh, you're a kitty cat. Yes. You kind of look like a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> you want a treat? Mm -hmm. I got some kitty snacks. What's that? Is that we got some catnip. Uh, so. like, cats like milk, don't they? That's actually really bad for cats. But they like it. Too much bacteria. Oh, yeah. Too much bacteria. Well, that's awesome. Hi. Oh, cool. So, what kind, what kind of drugs are you on? <laughs> There's too many to count. I know that. <laughs> You don't do catnip. Do you, do you sniff it or smoke it? Yes. <laughs> then you be eating her? Why not? You're a bird. You That's got, a griffin. He's a griffin. Yeah. Don't you know you're a mythical creature? A griffin has a lion's head. Not all griffins. Not all griffins. <laughs> That lion, I thought a griffin had a lion's head with a scorpion's tail with no. a... That's a... That's a griffin. It's a chimera. A cry, okay. Elephino. Yeah, griffins <laughs> have lion's head with the uh, eagle's wings and with a scorpion's tail. Am I right? I'm right. <laughs> I'm always right. Men. We all, we all have smartphones, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> We're reading the Bible. You believe in the Bible? Mm -hmm. You do? We're in the Bible to say to dress up like a kitty cat and act like a fool. I'm not a fool. Uh, you're not a fool? Act a fool. Act a fool. I, I talk to a cat. I'm like gazing into your cat eyes. Good, because that's where my eyes are. You, you, you're creeping me out. <laughs>
Oh, she got little bells on her. Oh, that's evil. You miss a neuter too? Oh, that neuter boy. No, I just haven't put any claws on it. That is horrible. They call it a cat and spade and neuter, that's evil. That's actually a problem. Right. Oh, no. yeah. I actually yeah. have one left. 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 See, that's evil. That's adultery. You try. Let me get a scripture for you. I got a scripture. Hey, get that scripture. You want no big black man? Hey, get that pocket. I don't want to Wait, wait. Huh? The black? No, I just know. The Negro. The Negro guy. El Gato. The Negro. The Negro. El Gato. Oh yeah, but the Bible says sit not at all with another man's wife. So we're not, if you, that's your husband and boyfriend, we can't talk to you. Yeah, that's wicked. That's evil. <laughs> I mean, how would you like it if a man did it? Run a three, four big black niggas run a train on your wife. Y'all yeah, probably into that though, ain't you? Y'all probably into that. You let your girl walk around like a kitty cat rubbing up on people? That, that's, that's I just not... Want, I just don't want to wear my suit. That's, I wouldn't let my woman do nothing like that at all. So I'd beat her ass. She'd beat my ass. I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure she does. I'm sure she's running shit. Not you. Well, I mean, what's going on though? What's going on? The part of something? No, no, no touchy. I don't want fleas. Please. What else can you do? You know? No fleas. You gotta lighten up the spirits and something. Right. Lighten up the truth. You might as well. Have fun. No. You know? It's not every day you see someone. It's not every day, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> walking around with a, as a condom. As a what? A condom. <laughs> yeah. I got a scripture for y'all. She was fine too. Can I read you a scripture? Fine as hell, man. <laughs> look, look. She was bad, man. I got a scripture for you. Y'all acting like everything's all good out here. You acting all silly. You know what I'm saying? When we're in a time of death and destruction. This is Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Long enough. That's some simple shit y'all doing right here. Okay, I finally was coming to America, man. Yeah. Yes, America. This is gonna be hell. Nah, it's gonna be all worldwide. Well, it's just the thing is about America. The worst happened here. The worst, the worst is prepared for America. The worst. This is a foul ass nation. It is a foul nation. There's a lot of foul things. There's it's no continuously doing foul things. There's no truth. It's void of what? It is. Yeah. Wick, only wickedness. Wickedness forces in America. America ain't nothing but a bunch of freaks and weirdos and faggots. Adulterers and adulteresses. That's why the Lord said it's a, a wicked, adulterous generation. That's right. That's it. Yeah, everybody got the spirit of adultery on them. I have a feeling this is going to be a very bumpy winter. Everybody walking around acting like fools, being all simple, and the thought of the Lord, the thoughts of the Lord is nowhere in your mind. And I think so. You're not even a couple of them. They don't have a black break. I knew it. We better get going. All right, guys. Sorry, guys. Have fun. Have fun. See, my girl ain't gonna be in meow and no. You guys want to go get some costumes? She like niggas, man. She asked me for a hug. That's what I'm saying. She said, "What's up, lady?" She said that was her husband. Her hug. And she up here rubbing them on people, meowing. What are you supposed to say to a motherfucker dressed up in a cat suit? What am I supposed to say to that? I knew something was wrong, man. That's why I asked. You got a hug? You got a hug or something? I just had a feeling, man. Who the fuck how fine a bitch is, man? Oh, shit. Oh. No, he just... And the dude just felt... Walked right into the fucking sign up there. Oh, the one we just talking yeah, to? Yeah, the dude with the cat wife. <laughs> that, I mean, that happens a lot. 
Uh, we've seen people get uh get the cold one. Remember that one dude we seen got hit on his bike? He he drove by on his bike scoffing at us and got hit by a car on his bike. He didn't get hurt, but his bike got fucked up when he got knocked down. He was walking out and a couple of black guys with his white girlfriend told him walking at both those fat in their faces. Oh that was remember that shit. Oh yeah, I wish we got that. They just having to fall fat on it. Flat one they both of them. And they got up embarrassed as fuck, man. Because everybody was cracking up. <clears throat> well, we were cracking up. Everybody was like, oh, where you at? <laughs> they were just happen to fall flat on their face. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, close, man. These angels, man. He hate these people. Angels hate these people, man. Especially. That's why you see this weather increasing, getting worse with more lightning strikes. That's the ang these, these angels know we close too. Just like we know we close. Yeah, the angels is fucking with us right now, actually. They just send them motherfuckers to us. They, they like to have a good laugh sometimes. They, 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 hook, they, they hook us up. Yeah, they when hook us up. Like they hook us up. That's good. That's good. You know, it's always good to I try to be, I couldn't, I was trying, I didn't know what to say to him. I didn't mean to be the, such a dick. You know what to say to him because you said it. You said the right thing to him. I mean, I said I've been nicer. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't teach them nothing because yeah. they ain't trying to learn nothing. You are, we already know by their spirit. But sometimes I be trying to wonder, like, am I being too much of a dick? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You want to be a dick, be a dick. You know what I'm saying? I just can't. But well, they all that spirit vibration on love. We all love each other. Hey, what? That's false. That ain't true. Because they don't love each other. They don't up. love everybody. That's all love, man. Yeah, that bitch had me commit a spiritual adultery. I asked her if she wanted a kitty snack, and she had a hug. Mm -hmm. Standing right next to her. <laughs> that day, all, all them that tattoos. Completely he rolled by her earlier. Tattoos? Oh my goodness. That's not, that's, everybody defiling himself with all these tattoos, man. It's the thing, it's hot. It's hot. That shit was never like that before. Back in the day, there's only a very few people you've seen with tattoos. Like hey, you never looked up, Dave up again, did you? Huh? You never looked Dave up again, did you? Oh, on he's the... locked up for, for real. I, went, I, I was talking to his family. I was talking to his family. He's, they, he's locked up for real. It's going to be a while. Yeah, he's going to be locked up. He had a fake gun. That's as so good as having gun, a real gun. Do three to five. And he might, and he got a prior, so he gonna do every bit of that five probably. Yeah, the judge, mm -hmm. I try to tell his ass many times. Oh, man. oh yeah, he had a prior gun charge. Well, hey, that's why we kicked him out of the camp the first time. Remember? Cause yep. he was walking down the street with a shotgun. Mm -hmm. And then he, then he asked, he's like, what scripture says I can't walk down the street with a shotgun? Right, 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 right. Like, motherfucker? Yeah, scripture, scripture for that? We, like, we really gonna bring that out the fucking scripture. Yeah, the scripture says, don't be a fool. Right. Be wise as serpent, harmless as dove. The scripture also says, all people are wise to do evil. Wise to do evil. You know? Oh, I got, I got a scripture That's, for that. I mean, who was he carrying a gun for? He got evil thoughts. You know? He was beefing with, uh, what they call, one way? One way. Yeah, he was one way. with one of these niggas, they call the gang of niggas. And he's always hanging out with people that wasn't in the troops, like mm -hmm. Kevin mm -hmm. and all them other dudes. Hate. Hate. You see that? You hear that? They're cheering over football. Over football. A child's game. Let's let, let them cheer when the, uh, you, when NATO troops start uh, making so, them. Motherfuckers, they actually here. lose their mind after men chasing a ball around. Yeah. They slap each other around. And they slap each other around. Let me bring this out. That's for Dave, because Dave, he, he like he liked that kick up, he tried to be in the, and I told him this to his face too, so I ain't just talking shit about it. I'm not I'm not talking shit about it. Well I am kind of But uh And we didn't even make no videos on him really after that. We did everything in private. We should have just cursed his ass out on video. I was cursing him out for all the I was going by. I was yeah. over the hollering at him. Yeah, I mean we I hit him with once in a while. I was actually going to see him, you know, hoping he'd come back in. But I was cursing, we could get drunk the first I was cursing out out there. I was, I fuck with this girl around the corner. Yeah. That's why I was stopping. That's over. his problem. He couldn't he, get away from two thirds. Mm -hmm. Like we, we be at the house kicking it, you know. After the, he'd invite every last person off the street in the house. Bringing pepperoni pizzas over. Yeah, yeah like all manner. Oh, like I'm talking about niggas. You obviously, you know, you shouldn't be. Yeah, he be like, that's my brother. Nah, he's cool. Remember that one day you and Dude got an argument over Jordan's not being. Like you was like, that's your opinion because you said Jordans was a subdivision of Nike. Oh yeah, they had true. like a five-hour argument over and he that. Brought, but he brought him, yeah, that's he brought that pepperoni pizza in the house and I kicked his ass out. He did that for me. Yeah, I, I was like, motherfucker, get out here with that pepperoni. I told his ass. I saw you for too. 
No, he told me you was. No, Dave was he in oh, Dave was he in Slim Jim. Slim Jim's had pork in it. No, he told me he was working at Papa John's and he was like, I I didn't I never told you, but I was a Papa John's, I was still eating pepperonis. He told me the same shit. It's like man, come on man. Where where? Right here in this car. You ain't seen how he's driving? That's a cop? Yeah, that's a cop. Oh he works at the uh Giant. That's a cop. He's, he's got in, his uniform. He's got his uniform. Well, he can do whatever the fuck he yeah, wants. Right. He he's about to go work at that carryout so get go. When he clock in, he can go pull somebody over for doing the same shit. No, uh, he's off the clock in, getting paid time and a half. This right nation now. is gonna get fucked up for his hypocrisy, man. The America cop really, well, I guess when you pill out, you can still go to the legal speed limit as you squill your yeah, tires. That's considered reckless op. Reckless operation. Well, they drive I drunk and all that shit all the time. I, my, I was on my motorcycle smoking the tires. Reckless operation. Cop let me go. I got a script for you. It's like people, they always want to kick it with two thirds. They just want to hang out with people, be cool with everybody. Uh, and you took that to the extreme when the Lord was hanging with sinners. Yeah. The Lord was teaching motherfuckers. He wasn't hanging with the motherfuckers. Yeah, but he was. But that's what he was saying. Well, the Lord was drinking and hanging with sinners. Mm -hmm. But see, that's why they try to abuse that scripture. Because the Lord was doing that, and we do that too. Yeah. But when you know somebody ain't no goddamn good, and you done told them the truth 50,000 fucking times, it's time to, to, to depart from them. Yeah. You dust your feet on them. You know what I mean? You don't talk to them no more. In fact, the, the scriptures say, uh, um, what's it saying? Uh, there's a scripture that says, hang, don't hang out with the wicked. Uh, don't hang out. Goes Lana. I forget. I mean, yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of scriptures. Like yeah, there's a bunch of them. I know there's one in particular of song where it says, uh, depart from evil persons or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's common sense, man. Uh, it's common sense. Shit. There's one in Corinthians. There's tons there's of them. One, yeah, this is a lot of them. Well, here's one right here. You ain't supposed to be in the same company as sin. You know. Uh, this is Exodus 23 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. <laughs> Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. <laughs> I mean, to rest judgment. You know, twisting the scriptures and all that. They don't pretty much, they don't have no judgment. There is no judgment. There is. They don't have, you know, they, they go. That's part of the judgment is after you've been a, kicking it with somebody. So you can, because the Lord was drinking with people too. They called the Lord a wine beverage. So he was hanging out with him, drinking, eating, you know what I'm saying? But he was teaching. He was teaching them. And you, go, you ain't going to tell me that the Lord would, would just hang out with wicked motherfuckers. They're saying thoughts of his Right. Well, yeah, exactly. He was teaching people to repent. If they didn't repent, he, he departed from it. He kept it moving. I mean, you, no hands, texting. You, you, you see that money. bitch was riding her bike texting. Yeah, she was texting with no hands. That's amazing. Oh, wow. she, she looked good as hell, too. I ain't seen her. Man, the Lord gonna let us snatch these hoes up. So. I'm gonna come through it's here like, with the cage oh, first the thing. Did we ever read that scripture that says you can rape a bitch? Yeah. Well, not a bitch. I ain't gonna call her a bitch. You can rape. I ain't gonna. Well, I'm talking about now because it's a young woman, a virgin. Okay, a young virgin Israelite woman. She is all. Did you? you I don't want to use the word rape. That's a that, that word. That's a, that's a bad. That's a. That's a propaganda term. But you know what I'm saying? That's a propaganda term, rape. You know what I'm saying? The rape just means to take away, to carry off. Yeah, to humble. I, you can humble women. You can you can humble a woman. That's how I'll say it. But that word rape, that, that's, that's a propaganda word. You meet a girl and uh, talking to her, hanging out with her. She have a nice vibration, you get alone. Look at this you big weird here. motherfucker. She has it even Home, she her, her, it, it, it changed even more. You know that you hold her, you right? Ride, you when you stabbing the shit out of that girl, you beating it up. She's Damn, laying there, you know. Beat that it's like, up. It's like you know, there's an old saying that no really means yes. You're right. That's, 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 that's a whole saying. <laughs> ain't no bitch. I was like, ain't no girl tell me. Well, we up in there in that situation. There ain't no such thing as no. No <laughs> means yes. <laughs> that's yeah, right. What's up? That's the scriptures talking, bro. Too skinny. No That's why the, the Bible's a manly oh, book made for men. Oh, okay. okay. It, this is a very manly book. 
Because God knows what a man is because he made it. Because the most high, he wants us to enjoy ourselves too. He said, are we going to have a heart's desire? Because essentially the book of Deuteronomy was talking about when they was in the kingdom. Well, in, this was when Israel was all together as a, a united kingdom. And everybody was pretty much in order. Everybody's following the laws. Everybody kept the Sabbath. And when nobody eating no pork, and none of that was going. And adulterers got put to death. Okay, but the Lord, he, the Lord gives you rewards like women. Like if you see a one of these women you like, and she's a virgin, and she doesn't have a husband, you can take that. All yours. It's all yours. <laughs> and she, she don't have to agree. But and, not now. Though. But once you take it, not now. Though. But hold up, you can't just rape women and leave them in the house. Like, yeah, so if people take it wrong, and they're like, "Oh, y'all talking about rape." You can't just rape a bitch in a dark alley and beat her up and leave her there. No. Once you lay with a woman, you got to be with her for the rest of your life. You know what I mean? So this ain't just no nasty sexual shit. Once you take a woman, she's yours for life. And, and if you leave her without any good cause, that's punishable by death. That's for, I mean, and if you go, because the Lord said, if you leave a woman for any, this is in Matthew 19. He says in Matthew 19, if you leave a woman for any cause except for fornication, meaning adultery, and if she goes and has gets with another man, you caused her to commit adultery. And you're so that means you're pretty much guilty of adultery, pretty much. Here you go. Yeah, I'll read this real quick. Then again, my good luck, I'm just my life. All right, all right, this is Deuteronomy 22 and 25. But if a man, I'm gonna read all this. But if a man find a betrothed damsel, in the, I like that word damsel. Remember, hmm. Back in the day, them old gangsters were called women dames. Dames. That's a dame right there. What's oh, up, yes, dame? what's up, dame? She a dime. A dime sounds like dame. I wonder if that's what like. Dime, dame, a dime piece. <laughs> you know how they call bitches. Hey, that's pieces. the BC boys over there. The uh, BC boys, Ad Rock. They playing. You got to fight. Yeah, MCA got took the fuck up. Oh yeah, that's BC boys playing. Hey, Israelites. And it, it, you got a lot of these faggot Israelites out there. Damn, I Let's heard say anybody with white skin is the devil. And the Lord is going to kill them. That means they're boys to understand. And actually, we're going to get to kill them. The Lord is going to reward like all these people that call me an Edomite. The Lord is going to reward me. And I'm going to be chopping motherfuckers' heads off. I, I, I'm going to get to, uh, my heart shall meditate terror. Lord, I'm going to say that the Lord is with you. I can't wait to say that. And he's going to be, you know what I'm saying? Because that's when the Lord gives us that power. Because we get, we kill the Israelites before we get to Esau. Okay. Well, no, I'm talking about before that. Then after we, then when the Lord comes back, gives us that power, all kind of hell is gonna break loose. Okay, He's gonna give us power, actual power, and we we gonna be joining in with the angels going nuts, killing for us. Hunting, hunting first, like the scriptures say, started the Lord's sanctuary first, meaning it starting with Israel first. Right. Right. First of all, two thirds of Israel gonna die first. Then after them, Esau going to get it. We're going to hunt Esau out of all the rocks and all the holes and all the mountains. Like local uh, motherfuckers is part of Peraza. Yeah, Peraza. That's comfy, got his group here too. We they gonna they all going to get it. We're going to get them all. And that's part of that reward. So we don't know exactly how it's going to go down. The exact. So we know the missiles are coming too. So there's going to be all kind of destruction. The Lord's giving us power. You're going to have missiles. You're going to have chariots coming. This is going to be nuts, bro. Yeah. See that chick just waved at us? She was hot as hell. That's good. You need to stop by and give me a number and bake me some cookies. Huh? Actually, I don't even eat cookies. That just sounds funny. I don't like sugary foods. You need some oatmeal raisins? Oh, disgusting. I hate raisins. The only cookies I like is, uh, it can't be no goddamn raisins in it. I used to be mad as hell as a kid. You give me a cookie with a raisin in it. Because from a distance, it looked like chocolate chips. When you get up on it, like, oh, it's a goddamn raisin. Oh, hold on, let me read this. Yeah, I know. Hey, you know, I'm talking about when you're a kid, 
And you see them from a distance, you want chocolate chips. You don't want no damn raisins. Give me both. <laughs> Man. Give me both. <laughs> my mom used to do that shit, make some raisins. Chocolate chip raisin. Uh, put them, but that, that'd be different. Put them together, that'd be different. I'm curious about the grill. I'm like, we should go to Colorado. I got a couple dollars. Go some Chinese hoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know they busted down on all the hoes on Parsons yeah, and I shit. Yeah, I 60 something motherfuckers, man. Wow. So it's like a ghost town out there now. Hey, let me finish this up. Buying pussy and the let me finish. I ain't get a good one. Okay. I know I can't say it's right. I heard we get it. Now watch. We're going to go through all the different rape scenarios. Deuteronomy 22 and 25. But if a man find a betrothed damsel, what does betrothed mean? That means betrothed. That means she's already with somebody. She has a man already. What's that mean? Yeah, but if a man find a betrothed damsel in the field and the man force her and lie with her, the man only that lay with her shall die. So that's evil. You can't go take a woman that already has men. You get put to death for that. Okay? But unto the damsel thou shalt do nothing. Because she didn't do anything wrong. It's not her fault. There is in the damsel no sin worthy of death. For as when a man rises against his neighbor and slayeth him, even so is this man. 27. For he found her in the field and the betrothed damsel cried, and there was none to save her. Hmm. That's just raping the random bitch that uh, they got a man. You get put to death. Well, watch this. Remember, it says she cried, nobody saved her. Right. She cried. If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, and lay hold on her and lie with her, and they be found. Then that man that lie with her shall give unto the damsel's father fifty shekels of silver, and she shall be his wife, because he hath humbled her. So remember the scripture says the woman the feet woman is your so Justin Bieber. So you have daughters, that's yours. That's yours. So you, you, know, you know the key word though is that you have humbled her. Because when you take it and you lie hold and you force it, like I said, no means yes. That's a humbling process. And really, the woman likes that. That's, she actually That's why I said she humbled her. He may not put her away all his days. Like I said, once you give, have sex with a woman, you can't ever leave her. Unless she commits adultery on you. Like OJ. We do it all day like OJ. OJ. We like OJ all day. <laughs> did, did, did somebody say that? Was that Fox or something? <laughs> No, well, O.J. Simpson did was a righteous thing because, you know, Nicole Simpson, the last name was Simpson. That was, they was married. And she was fucking some Jew motherfucker. Well, O.J. thought he was, well, he was the truth. But he was following so-called Judaism. Do you know that? You know O.J. Simpson is? I know you don't know who the Beastie Boys is. Putting these holes in the resin. Yeah, well, OJ Simpson did was an act of God, bro. The Most High put a spear on OJ, and he killed that bitch in that bag. And that was beautiful. And he got away with it. <laughs> the glove don't fit. He's like, oh, don't fit. <laughs> the glove don't fit, you got it, must yeah, quit. Yeah, the glove don't fit, must <laughs> quit. <laughs> Didn't Johnny Cochran die? Yeah, yeah Johnny Cochran. Massive heart attack, too. Most High fucked Johnny. He got a pain for death. Fuck his ass up, boy. Was well, he Michael Jackson's lawyer too, or yeah. something? He got Michael Jackson off a of child molestation charge. He's rich, man. Yeah, he gotta be rich. He's rich, man. He had all the drug dealers from all over the world, all over America, firing for, you know, for the defense. Man. He's really a piece of shit, really. Exactly. Johnny exactly. Cochran was a piece of shit. In order for him to be, to be able to get him off, man, it wasn't just his lawyer skills. Well, to be able to pass connected. the bar. You can't pass the bar without being a. Uh, yeah, what's up, y'all? Yeah, she's Chinese. I didn't even notice. She looked like a white bitch. Yeah, bad as fuck. That's beautiful. That's why I need me a Chinese bitch. Fuck these white bitches and black bitches. I want a Chinese bitch, a Japanese bitch. You know what I mean? Sucky, sucky, fucky, fussy. That's what they say. Now, when I was over in Thailand, they actually said this. They're like, sucky, sucky, fucky, fucky. I'm like, oh, yeah. How much? Five dollars? Okay. <laughs> Boy, yeah, in Thailand, you get a piece of pussy. And ain't a little uh, something to drink. 
You get a piece of pussy, <laughs> something to drink, and something to eat for under ten dollars. Damn, American dollars. Cause that's how much American dollars is worth over there. Big money. I mean, you could buy a bottle of whiskey for a dollar. Some Thai whiskey do a fuck you up and make you hallucinate. Oh shit, dude just said a 360 click. I'll eat 360 click. But he actually he landed it. He, no, he didn't land it, uh, but he's about. Yeah, but uh, we in Thailand though. You get that whiskey. That whiskey was so powerful, bro. That our colonel, the head officer of the control of everybody, he gave he gave us an order. He said, y'all are not allowed to drink that time whiskey. He's like, we got, he's like, we got men hallucinating, seeing snakes. No more time. Yeah. <laughs> it is dude of mine. He get, he was fucked up out in that heat, because it's so hot down in Thailand. And brother, he drank some of that Thai whiskey, he was out in the heat, he started hallucinating. And he said snakes were all over him. He's like, get the snakes <laughs> off me. I was like, brother, ain't no snakes on you. He, he said, get the snakes off me. He was bugging out. <laughs> Alcohol and it's humidity a, don't mix. He said Thai whiskey, boy. Now Thai whiskey is something else. What well, about snake's blood? Don't that make you hallucinate? What is it? Snake's blood. That's, I don't know. Probably does. I don't know. Well, we was down there in Thailand. This proves Thailand. The Thais are a bunch of heathens. But we was training with the Thai Marines. I was in the Marines. We was training with the Thai Marines. They give us classes on how to catch a king cobra snake. <laughs> And they taught us how to catch them so you don't get bit, how to chop its head off. And then they would skin it, and then you could drain all the blood out there and make you drink it. I didn't drink that shit. I was like, nah, I am not drinking. He's like, it tastes like Kool Aid. Nah, I ain't drinking that shit. And hardly none of the black dudes there was drinking that shit either. It was all the. It was all the. It was funny. It was all mostly the white boys who was down there drinking all that blood. They, they was teaching us how to eat, not just, they taught us how to eat rabbits, how to kill a rabbit. That's not down in Thailand, somewhere else. And you know the Bible said you ain't going to eat rabbits. They, they, I was up doing mountain training up in California. They taught us how to uh, kill a mountain hare. Them hares of this guy, and a rabbit, this motherfucking big, weighed 50 damn pounds. They, they just chopped his fucking head off. I feel bad for that poor rabbit. Chopped his fucking head off. They pulled his eyeballs out and just ate it raw. Yeah. It was nasty, man. Mm -hmm. Poor rabbit. Mm -hmm. You got anything else you want to bring out? What you see this guy? What y'all hear this doing? What? So what y'all heathens doing? We got a game. Y'all about go haze each other? Yeah. Do some game? butt plugging? You selling it? No, we're not selling it. We, we just got done playing it. Oh, yeah. what kind of game? It's called uh, Can Can Can. Oh, they're not video games. They're some game they made. Yeah, no, yeah. well, it's, we didn't make it, but it's not really it. What do you guys think? We're freshmen? Yeah. you got too much time on your hands. We're right? teaching a Bible. Oh, we're yeah. teaching real knowledge and wisdom. Yeah, Who's our phone? Who's our phone? We just came from uh, the military band was like campus ministry. Yeah. Ministry? Yeah. That sounds like some, uh, like some baggage. <laughs> <laughs> is that, uh, is that the This is a King What's James that? Bible. Um, oh, you, why you, oh, you, what, you got a problem with King James? No, I'm just disrespecting that, uh, the king, son? <laughs> Where y'all from, man? Uh, what? Where y'all from? Um, I'm from, uh, Westerville. Westerville, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Westerville. I used to live in Westerville, too. Man. Yeah, you Every day I would wake up, there would be trash thrown in my yard. So what are you guys teaching people? <laughs> That's what they're afraid of. That's what they're afraid of. That's what they're afraid of. What church? You, you say you came from a church? I used to wake up with trash thrown in my yard, man. I lived in a nice-ass neighborhood. Our, we have a, you know? a ministry on campus. Okay. So we just had an event. So you believe in the Bible, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you one simple question. Who did the Lord come for? The, the one you call Jesus Christ, who did he come to save? All of us. Who's all, who, who's all of us? That was yeah. 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 Be more specific. No, what, what's the name of the people that he came for? What are they called? <laughs> you don't know? Well, I thought you believed in the Bible. Have you're you a college kid too? You're a college, you're a college student? You know about comprehension? Have you ever read the Bible? 
So who does the Bible say the Lord came to save? But who is this? Yeah, you're right. You're, you got that part right. No, no, no. He said it. When the Lord was crucified, what did it, what did it say on the cross? In three different languages. So who is this people? He's from the tribe of Judah. Not Jewish. Not Jewish. He's from the tribe of Judah. The so-called yeah. Jews today. Now give me Revelation 2 and all. You ain't got a Bible. I'll give you. Can you read? Can you see? Hold on. I'm going to give you. It's quoted. We all know it by heart. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can see it, man. Go read 2 and all. Revelation 2 and all. Because we, we get tired of dealing with these little uh, limp-wristed Christians. And they, they give the Bible a bad name. At least they try to. Because they don't know anything. That all these churches are essentially set up by the government. They all have 501c3 tax exempt status. You know about that? They're essentially government sanctioned churches. They're only allowed to teach what the government allows them to teach. It's not a conspiracy theory either. It's true. Listen to this. Matthew 15 and 24. Now this is what this is red letter. You know what that means, right? Yeah. Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay. So who are the lost sheep of Israel today? Who are they? The same they the same people they were then when the Lord was walking earth. So but who are they today? You just can't say you're an Israelite when you're not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So who are the Israelites today? Is it is the question. What about the so-called... It's the great mystery. <laughs> oh, I got the sign right here. Why are you impressed? It's one of the mysteries of the Bible. The so-called Jews in the state of Israel, they're not Israelites. You, you know, know, uh, you know how in Revelation it says uh, uh, the 12 tribes of Israel? Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah uh, it goes through the list of elect. Yeah, the 140. Revelation 7. It's... Um, like, I've, had, I've, I've listened to people, like, uh, that have studied out Revelation and everything, and it's not, like, you know how people say, like, oh, you know, the magic number is 144,000, like, that's how many people are getting to heaven? That's not true. <laughs> yeah, that's not true. Right. Like, it's all, it's all, like, symbolism and things like that, and, uh... I'll tell you what it is, after it talks about 144,000, it the, mentions a, listen, it mentions a great multitude of all nations, kindreds, and tongues. Yeah. But that's talking about Israel scattered among all nations. Like I just read, the Lord said he came for the lost sheep. They're lost. The house of Israel. Israel is the most numerous people on the planet Earth. They've been scattered among all nations. But hold up, first of all, I gotta read this scripture to you. In my Bible is written. But it's so forty four thousand is the elect of the elect. The that's, great multitude the we're first, speaking about. That's the first fruit. That's a one third of Israel. That's one third, which is going to be millions of people. Millions upon millions. You know, but that 144,000 is just the elect that's the, amongst, yeah. that, uh, amongst that multitude. Like the mighty men. Right, right. The might, that's the, that's the, the cream of the crop. You know what I'm saying? they the first ones that the Lord is going to redeem. And then we're going to bring in that great huh? multitude. Yeah. Yeah. It's written, it, it's about apoc apocalyptic. What does apocalypse mean? It means to reveal. It means exactly the same thing as the word revelation. It means to reveal that which is hidden. Oh, it's very well. What do you mean it's not literal? Like it was the the book of Revelation was to encourage. Right, let me, I'm going to read a piece from the book of Revelation. All right, you are some stinking Muslims. Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works so the tribulation far. and poverty. See, we go through great tribulation. And we're all poor. We ain't got no money. The real Israelites ain't got no money. We all live in poverty. We're all destitute. Okay. Broke as, 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 as hell living. Paycheck to paycheck. We even got a paycheck. Why is it in the line of slavery? Right. I know that works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. We're rich because we have this knowledge. I'm talking about two different guys. Okay, I'm saying you can't hear that. No, I'm not. Yeah, it sounds like wild news. I know that works in tribulation and poverty. That's just an awful sound, man. Very terrible sound, man. Hearing women all out just... I was loud and obnoxious. Not just any woman. You know, that was a specific type of woman that you had, bro. 
I know that works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. You said the blasphemy. Now this is literal. That guy's being very literal. literal. This is revelation. This blasphemy for them heathens who call themselves Jews. This so called Jews right? in the state of Israel, they're not real Jews. Okay, they're Edomites. They're they worship Satan. It says it right here, they're the synagogue of Satan. So if you're in the synagogue of Satan, that means you worship Satan. Well, who, wait, do you, so who, do you guys, who, who worship believe, in synagogue? Wait, do you guys believe, like you were talking about Israel, do you guys believe that you have to be an Israelite to get to heaven? Well, yeah. Well, to heaven. Every, you, everybody's going to make it to heaven, but... Heaven is... But these other nations will have a different role in heaven. It's not the right it's word for it. Serving. Serving. I can fake the synagogue. Wait, so everyone goes to heaven? Let, let me read oh, this Israelite. Break this down, tell me what that means. No, no. Heaven and hell are conditions way down on earth, okay? There's no pearly gates like in the cartoon, all right? Wait, 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 we got St. Peter at the gate with the book. You waiting in line. That's in Revelation. No, it's not, dude. That's not, that's not. No, that's talking about Jerusalem. It says when the Jerusalem comes out of the sky, the new Jerusalem, that's the kingdom of heaven is on earth. Where's Jerusalem at right now? It's on earth. The new Jerusalem is going to be on earth as well. Okay, Jerusalem, that's the city of peace. But listen to this. I'm going to prove my book. He just said what I just said. Revelation 3 and 9. <laughs> Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. You're saying they're Jews. But do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Okay, now who worships in synagogues today? Who worships the synagogue? So called Jews. Only the Jews do. Because they are in the tax office. That's what they are, the baby boy tax office. You know, hold up. Now hold up. Look what he said, it's going to be on the Listen. Why would you say that about Jesus? No, listen. What you mean? Calm down. Listen. Like, see, they're derogative words. How's that? No, they're child molesters, bro. The child molesters. In Ephesians 3 and 6, I said, Paul cursed all the time. Who's talking about? The Lord called people fools. He called people serpents and vipers. Right. Okay. Oh, the Lord used James, ancient. James. Uh, James talks about um, like how can you it. how can you say these words come out of your mouth and okay, like so curse, what, curse men, curse men, Take and pray to God. Six, I didn't. What do you want to curse? You understand what it's talking about? Well, no. I'm like about the girls. Walking the by. curse has nothing to do with words. The Bible calls women bitches and whores. Right. It calls them harlots. Right. It's in there all the time. I get Amos 7, 17. It says, Thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. What's a harlot? Deuteronomy 26, uh, was it 26 says, None of your daughters shall be whores. There shall be no whores of the daughters of Israel. Oh, well, I mean like, I mean in uh, in the New Testament, it talks about prostitutes. Like, uh, oh, right. The Lord, what did the Lord say? He said, this is a wicked an adulterous generation. <laughs> they call them adulterous. <laughs> but it's not an adulterous or whore. And dude, yeah, it was like, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> no, no, no he the, the Lord only loves him as that. Why do you say That's that? Him. No, you know, you know, the other uh, these women. Well, you know what? Hold on, let me see this. Ever? Okay, you know the, you know the parable. She that said, one. don't sin again. He said, he don't sin again. He told her not to sin again. again. He gave her a chance for repentance. He told her whether she keeps being a whore or not. What about the women that the elders were throwing lies That's the same one he's talking about. What about? No, they never. Th he told her to sin no more. They going to throw lies. And the reason, and the reason, he told her to stop sinning. Why did they, they leave? Because they were adults. He said, damn sad. They were all sinners. But listen, you said I can't use bad words. Why are they called bad words? So called bad words, okay? And I can say the word shit, okay? You know the word shit and shoot have the same, they come from the same root word, the word shoot and shit. Like, the shit comes flying out your ass, just like <laughs> when you shoot a gun, you shoot a gun, a bullet comes flying out the barrel of the gun. Just like a laundry shoot. When shoot. the laundry goes down to shoot. You ain't never heard people make a mistake and say shoot. It's like, oh, shoot. They well, didn't say shit. They well, shoot. But they say shoot because they don't want to cuss. Yeah, that's right. But they, they also say shoot and shit. Look so, on EddieMomline.com. So you put your nowhere in You know where Shoot. Of course. It's all about the intent of your heart. But listen to this. 2 Corinthians 11 and 6. 
But though I be rude in speech, though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, like he's always said. But we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. We say it all the time. You people are supposed to be a man. You mean you can't get past so much labor? The Bible says we can't go. Listen. Second Corinthians, I'm gonna back up. This is what Paul said himself. Second Corinthians uh, 10 and 9. That I may seem as if I were terrified you by letter. For his letters, talking about Paul's letter, for his letters say they are weighty and powerful. This is one of the letters of freedom. For his letters they say are weighty and powerful. But his bodily presence is weak. I'm gonna let it go up for body. This is what Paul said. But his bodily presence is weak, and his speech contemptible. <laughs> Paul said, Paul said, Paul said Paul he he can, you take that out of context. No, that no, that's talking about speaking lies. Uh, that's talking about uh, hey. bearing false witness. That's talking it's like about teaching false. Better off talking to that's the wind. That's talking about slander. Exactly. Oh, talking about evil speaking. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about letting no corrupt communication. But she loved to be on camera if he was busting on her face. Going to Bukaki. Going to Bukaki. Out of your mouth, but when it only is useful for building up exactly. others up yeah. according to their needs. Exactly. So, so when I call the so-called Jew a cocksucker, he is that building him up. Yes, it does. Because listen, he's not an Israelite, but we're not trying to build him no, up listen, anyway. He's literally a cocksucker. The so-called Jew. When they have a baby, a baby boy, they have a circumcised, circumcision ritual. They have a ceremony at the synagogue, the synagogue of Satan. And the whole community comes together and watches a rabbi perform the circumcision. The only reason these guys ain't then, left yet is Hold up, listen. And then like when guys. a rabbi performs the circumcision, he sucks the blood of the uh, with his mouth out. He sucks the blood from the baby's penis with his mouth. Get on Google and Google. See, I think... So they are think, you know, the Bible is, is not meant to be... Are you a so-called Jew? I, I mean, I follow Jesus. No. So I, I'm a disciple yeah, you, you of Jesus. You follow the white I got one for I follow Jesus. You follow the white You follow the white man. Let me get... Why would he white? You the one you follow the white No, I believe, man? I believe that he was, like, Arabian. No, no. Arabian. Arabian. He, uh, uh, Arab life. Arab life. Where he... Okay, well, I've never seen his physical... You read, the, you read the Bible though, right? You read the book of Hebrews? The original, the book of Hebrews say he was from the tribe of Judah. You know the original Arabs were black. He was an Arab. Alright, but does that, does that, like, not... Of course it doesn't. It okay, okay, okay. So you want to be lying to? No, no, no. No truth, no, man? I'm, 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 I'm just saying, is, is that going to, if you know that, if you know what color is, is that going to make you a better is that going to get you closer to heaven? Why would they mention his color and him and his color if they could get a message? But hold on, see the color is not just to say no. But, but hold on, but the scriptures say that there, there is no lie that is of the truth. So the Bible also says a little leaven leavens the whole lump. So one little lie, one little lie, uh, so you could have 99% truth. The 1% lie, that's still a lie. There's no lie in the Bible. This is Hebrews well, 7 and 14. This is Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of Judah. Now, who was Judah today? He went, he went Arabic. Well, no, 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 I didn't say he was. I just said, like, that was the kind of skin going for? Well, what's skin going for? No, no, no. What color is bronze? Brass. The Bible says yes. What color is brass? Dark. Uh, brass the brown is gold. So that's darker than what you described. It. Right? I mean, the Bible says. Right? The Bible right? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, okay, let's put it this way. But the scripture says that brown is brass is burnt in the oven. So put in the oven, what happens? It gets lighter or darker? Thank you. So, what color was the Lord? Light skin or dark skin? He was probably dark. He was yeah, dark skin, just like the scripture said. I got a script. Even the most high. I want to show. Listen, y'all can't accept. Y'all can't. Y'all can't accept in your heart that the man is a Negro. If you saw him walking today, you'd say, "Oh, that's a Negro." Nobody ever 
You know, the world can't accept that. Let me ask you. It doesn't matter. I'm not racist. You're saying that now. Uh, we're right. We, we are racist. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're racist. racist. What does the word race mean? Uh, I like an ethnicity. No, it's not. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, it could be either be an ethnic, an ethnic group, no. um, a religious group. Well, yes. Race is a Hebrew word, ra'ash, which means the head. There's only one head, and that's Israel. That's what it means. Racist means that you are the head. He's the head, and he's the king of Israel. He's the king of kings, the lord of lords. Uh, okay. So the Lord Jesus is a racist. He okay, says so he only far. came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Is that not racist? Listen, this is the scriptures here I'm reading. This is 2 Ezra 6 and 51. Upon the sixth day, thou gavest commandment unto the earth that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things. And after these, Adam also, you listen, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. Right? And it says, and, yeah, go ahead, and the people. Also, whom thou hast chosen. Wait a minute, let me read that again. Now listen. He didn't listen. He ain't paying attention. Right. He's, he's going in. Uh, he